Hey everybody, it's Jeremy Osterberger. We're here live at USA DeBusk's Technology Day. I'm joined by Chris Groneman and Chris Cesario of USA DeBusk Tank Cleaning and Material Processing Division. Uh, gentlemen, uh, welcome. How are we doing, Chris? Doing well, thank you. Yourself? Uh, doing fantastic. And Chris, how are you doing today? Excellent. Beautiful day. Gorgeous day to be out. We've got a lot of owner operators here, guys. Wonderful day showing off a lot of the different divisions that USA DeBusk uh, provides and all the services the company provides. But let's get right into what you guys do. I, I want to hear a little bit, guys, about your roles first. Uh, Chris, talk about uh, what you do for the company. So I'm the technical sales manager in charge of the sales team for our uh, tank cleaning and material processing division. Fantastic. And uh, Chris, how about you? Uh, the, I would say a sales specialist for the uh, northern uh, part of uh, the United States, uh, basically um, from east to more or less the Rockies uh, to that point. And uh, yeah, uh, centrifuging is my specialty. Fantastic. So guys, we're gonna jump into the technology for a second, but uh, Chris, I'll flip to you. Uh, talk a little bit about kind of the full suite of services that the tank cleaning and material processing division here at USA to Bus provides industry. So we have a lot of the standard uh, technology that's, that's available industry-wide. Uh, we have our manway cannons, our robotic automated manway cannons. We have uh, the newest innovations, our robot, robotic operated vehicles which enter the tank and are controlled remotely from outside the tank. Uh, we have tank sweeps which are the large barrel uh, agitation connections to the tank. We also have our hurricane nozzles which are, are good for low level agitation in the tanks. Fantastic. Anything to add Chris? Yeah and uh, electric and uh, diesel dredges as well. We're, we're Not only do we do tanks we do basins and pots so uh, we have that capability and not Having to put um, somebody uh, on a pond if there's H2S issues, uh, we can do it um, remotely with an electronic dredge. So let's let's dig more into that, guys. Um, you know, talk about the evolution of technology, Chris, and and kind of you know where industry is with that evolution and the adoption of all this technology. So some of the bigger clients have kind of driven the the implementation of technology, and the main goal is to take the the people, the individuals, out of harm's way. Uh, so technology is more of an engineering control. Uh, equipment, machines don't get fatigued like people do. Uh, the, the cost is a little bit higher sometimes, but in the end, on the backside, you save money because you get the you get a higher efficient efficiency. You get the jobs done faster and safer. Uh, they also help protect the environment. Chris, anything to add to what? I yeah, I just I, I dovetail on that with you know cost efficiency. I mean the material removal. Uh, equipment such as the sweeps. I mean, you it, it's much more efficient than going in after it. And with guys, you know, in a tank with, you know, several feet, um, this, this, uh, the sweeps and the hurricane slurry that up. And so it gets the job done much faster. So it's cost savings for the client. Right. Well, well, gentlemen, we're grateful for your time. I appreciate you guys sharing a little bit of time with Big Magazine. And uh, always great to see what, how USA to Busk is innovating as we release the tank cleaning and materials uh, process. So thank you guys for uh, being here today. Thank you for being here. Yeah. I'm here with Chase Daniels, Senior Vice President of Nitro Lift Technologies. Chase, thank you for having us out. Well, we appreciate it and I uh, look forward to it. Yeah. So, Chase, uh, there has been a recent acquisition. Nitro Lift Technologies is now part of the USA to Bust family. Let's start there. How was that marriage going? And talk about the integration of of this uh, acquisition made by USA to Bust. Yeah, all the, all the integration is going really well. Um, you know, all the synergies that we've had. Uh, with all of the different service lines, you know, whether it be the catalyst, whether it be the emissions, whether it be, you know, the far front group on the pipeline side, you know, field services, uh, the tank group, any of that stuff. And then, you know, you tie in our fabrication all the way down to the vapor blasting. You know, we've been helping those guys uh, the advance some equipment, build some new stuff, uh, recertify some equipment. Uh, you know, the UDCC group, you know, we're even working with those guys. And for my application, what is UDCC group? Unit Decon. Unit Decon. Okay, yep. great. So I want to get into the technology. Talk about Nitro Lift Technologies, Chase, and the applications that your services have in the refining, petrochemical, and midstream setting. Yeah, so, uh, you know, all the services that we provide in there is, you know, and when you get into the pipeline end of it, you know, you're doing a lot of pipeline purging. You're doing a lot of smart tool pig running, uh, you know, and things, on, and things of that state. New construction, you know, we're purging out uh, pipelines to be able to be for commissioning of those new lines. And so... You know, we're then, when we get into the refinery space and the petrochemical space, the plant space, you know, we're doing a lot of catalyst work, um, you know, supplying the nitrogen for inert entry support and, 
you know, that's one of the things that we'll talk about on the SMVE and it is, you know, how that kind of marries in with that and this new technology. So, uh, Chase, talk about geographically. I mean, are you confined here in the Gulf Coast? Where, where can y'all mobilize? Yeah, no. So we, uh, you know, geographically, we're all over the, uh, the lower 48 and the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, so we do offshore work as well. Chase, I'm going to go back to the plant setting, refining, petrochemical. We talked a little bit about the applications. You know, talk about the evolution of maybe nitrogen, uh, techno- uh, nitro lift technologies and the role of nitrogen in the plants. Have you have you seen that over your tenure in your role? Yeah. So one of the things that we've done and everything else with nitro lifts, uh, with nitro lift, we've always been focused on technology and innovation. So, you know, innovation is really where we strive. We started out the membrane nitrogen unit. Uh, you know, we've received several patents throughout the year uh, around membrane nitrogen. Then we got into the liquid nitrogen portion of the business about 15 years ago. Okay. Um, out of that, you know, we've developed our SMB unit. That particular unit requires no diesel engine. Uh, historically, you know, nitrogen units would have a diesel engine for horsepower plus being able to vaporize. We've been able to use plant steam to be able to advance that ball and use that technology. Fantastic, Chase. Well, I really appreciate your time, Chase, and thank you for giving us a little insight into the Nitro Less Technologies Division of uh, USA to Buck. Yep, that'll work. And if anybody needs any more information, uh, you can go to our website at www.nitrolift.com. Thank you. Thank you, Chase. Great to see you. I am joined by Clark Brandt, Chief Operating Officer, and Matt Warwick, Director of Technology and Automation. Matt, I'm actually going to go to you. Uh, talk about technology and automation, uh, a little bit about what services this group provides to industry. Yeah, absolutely. So the HCC division uh, primarily focuses on tube cleaning, automated uh, computerized technology, whether it be condensers, reboilers, evaps, vertical exchangers, all fully autonomous. Yeah, fantastic. So, uh, Matt, I'm going to hang with you for a second here. Let's go into how this this division has grown and really how industry has driven technology, especially over the past 15 years. Sure. So, I mean, I, I believe we started this division with four or five individuals. And over the course of three years, we're up to about 28 to 30 employees. We have an in-house R&D research and development team. And uh, it's just continuously growing. It's all about our people and, and not just the technology, but the people that drive the technology. That's what makes us unique. So, uh, Matt, uh, I know you guys and what you do. Uh, folks know you uh, largely for tube cleaning of heat exchangers, but Talk about other applications for this division in the industrial setting. So, I'd have to say uh, uh, confined space entry, you know, okay. confined space entry and removing out of the line of fire, getting out of the hazard zone, getting away from uh, high pressure nozzles, utilizing computerized technology gets you out of the line of fire, uh, more efficient, gets you out of uh, the slicker suit and the, and the heat in the, in the summer. I think there's a, a big value there for safety and productivity. Yeah, being down in uh, Gulf Coast area, obviously fatigue is a big part of uh, you know efficient side and safety and all those things. So, Clark, I'm going to flip to you. Uh, I want to talk about USA to Bus from a macro level. Talk about your breadth, your scope as far as geography. Where are you guys operating now? I uh, uh, assume lower 48 and beyond. Tell me a little bit about where we're at as far as our service offering geographically. Yeah, um, you know, USA to Bus started as um, sort of a regional Gulf Coast company, and over the past. 10 years, uh, 12 years, we've expanded throughout uh, the United States. Um, we operate, like you said, and in, in, by and large the lower 48, but, but then also up in uh, Canada, uh, Mexico. Uh, it, we, we execute work down in South America as well. And um, so, yeah, we, the company keeps growing. Um, and I think Matt uh, hit it well. There's, uh, it, it really, it really, um, the focus is on our people at, at the town level and, and the commitment level that they have, and that's what makes us successful. That's right, uh, Clark. So I appreciate that comment. So uh, when I when I think of the bus, uh, USA to bus, I think of the uh, broad uh, breadth and scope that you guys have of all the services you offer. You recently uh, made an acquisition of Nitro Lift Technologies. Can you talk a little bit about that uh, acquisition and the purpose of uh, bringing them into the family? Yeah, we're thrilled uh, to partner with um, Nitro Lift. Uh, the expansion of uh, the nitrogen service line pairs well with the number of our um, existing service lines. Um, thinking about opportunities in FCC units with our catalyst division, um, pipeline pigging division, uh, uh, more in the in the midstream space. Um, opportunities all in all, it, you take uh, their uh, attention to detail, ability to execute, 
Um, and, and you pair that up with what is their great reputation and, and, and what I consider a, a, a strong reputation in USA to bus, strong customer list. Um, you know, it's really a one plus one is, is more than two situation. Right. Um, Clark, uh, last I would ask, uh, so we're here at the Technology Day and Open House. Uh, how many years have y'all been doing this? So uh, I guess it's been dubbed Technology Day for the last two years, but we've been doing uh, open house uh, demonstrations for the last five or six years and had gained traction from it. And um, we keep developing new technology and, and our customers are, are interested in that. And, and so so we continue to do it. Great. Well, we appreciate you so much for having us out, uh, Matt and Clark. And uh, thanks again from everyone at Big Magazine. Appreciate you guys having us, having us out. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.